What is up you guys, it's James from James's Jeff Tiles, and in today's video we're going to be talking about isopods. A um, couple little updates and some other stuff, let's get right into it, shall we? So if you are, you know, you have maybe you have a reptile and or you have a couple and you're thinking about putting one of them into a bioactive setup, isopods are definitely something you're thinking about wanting to do. Isopods, along with springtails, um, will actually eat all the... Uh, you know, the leftover shed and the poop and the waste and all that from the crested geckos. So doing something like that is awesome. Uh, there's other, I mean, there's all sorts of other animals that can use bioactive. Snakes are one people try to stay away from, but basically anything other than that do great. And some species will even eat certain types of uh, isopods. I've seen crested geckos eat uh, isopods, so it's definitely something fun to consider. This is my... Cubaris SP, I don't know what SP stands for, so I'm just going to say, Cub I've just been pronouncing it, Cubaris SP, um, white duckies. Uh, I moved them, they were in a cup this size, and I was starting to see some mites in here, I think it's because there wasn't enough, it wasn't big enough for a gradient, um, and I'm kind of hoping they're having babies soon, so I moved them into here, and I did see that all six are still alive as I moved them, um, so hopefully they're doing good, there's one right there, if I could grab it. So that right there, right there, is a white ducky. If you guys aren't aware, I have two millipedes that came in with my dwarf whites when I ordered them. Uh, stuff happens when you have little colonies and little baby stuff, microscopic stuff growing into, you know, little insects. You could start to have stuff mix around. So right there. I have a bumblebee millipede. I actually had one in the past. They're pretty cool. I mean, millipedes are basically all the same, uh, except for ones that look really different and ones that are in different sizes. Um, and then I also have this scarlet millipede, and they both happen to be about the same size. You don't really want to grab millipedes too hard because they can actually uh, spray a form of acid on you, and it'll not smell good and it'll stain your skin black for a while and it's just not fun and then in here is well i love the white duckies but in here is what really gets me going i have all these dwarf whites and they're just really cute and really tiny and look at them all in there they're thriving i think well okay so i ordered 30 of them and I'm pretty sure the guy gave me like way extra, which is really nice of him. He did a lot of good stuff for me. I I mean, I did spend a lot of money, but he did a lot of stuff he didn't have to do. Um, so I was even on this side. This is the dry side. I was over here the other day looking, and I saw some over here. So I'm thinking there's a bunch in here, but I don't want to mess with them too much. But I have a friend who, a coworker who bought some... Uh, what is it? What is the species? One of the orange species. And then I think she might have also bought dwarf whites. But if she didn't, I'm going to offer her some of these and see if she wants to trade some. And then we can get another species going. Because these guys are just so adorable. And I'm feeding them dried, freeze-dried peas. Alright, uh, here we are. Uh, March 21st, 2020, quarantine. What day of quarantine is this? Uh, I don't know, it's different for everybody. 5,000. Yeah, we've been quarantined. Uh, People have been off for like a week, and we're really poly hunting. Do you think we're gonna find really polies? Uh, absolutely. What makes you think that? Um, that it is moist on the ground. Are you gonna flip rocks? Uh, flip some rocks. What else are we gonna find? Uh, maybe buggies. a cat. Oh, uh, we're gonna try to find a new cat. I want a cat. So yeah, maybe. A PO box. Uh, one eight twelve. Um. We'll get a PO box. We'll make sure it's that AA number. A five ninety. Uh, Roseville Road. Roseville. 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 Confirmed. Really, police extinct. Over and out. It's a mallard. Definitely a mallard. Confirmed. Quack. See all those rocks out there? I'm about to go to those rocks. You want to come with me? Okay. You said okay, alright, let's go. I didn't think you said yeah. 
not these rocks, though. So oh, I'm gonna break my ankle. No, oh, that's that's my problem. <laughs> the cushion of that ass. Oh, you see that blue tiger centipede? No. Because I'm not going over there. I'm not thinking that. See it? Yes. It's a blue tiger sal uh, centipede. Salamander, well. Wow. Uh, that's not what I said. Not at all. No, I think. Yeah. Make fun of me? Cool. You're cool. I don't touch that video, they're scary. Ew. There's a cool ant calling it. Whoa! There's a lot of ants. Look at all these ants. I really want an ant farm. Uh, I've tried about like three different ant queens and they all died because I'm terrible. Next time I'm gonna buy a, a colony that's already started with like probably like 30 or 40 workers so I can get them. I promise Sherry Ant Farm too. I think it'd be really cool. You want an ant farm? Sherry! Sherry! What? You want some ants? Oh. My name's Sherry, and I flipped this rock over. And I found a little froggy. Some little ants eating a frog. And ants. Alright, flip it back. I don't want to. Why? Because it's coming in? Because it's caca. It's disgusting. Oh shit. They're lunch. They're lunk. They're lunk. Back to you, Jaime. I'm flipping some rocks, I'm gonna flip play boys. Yeah, we only got the one. I feel like Brad. Yeah. Today on It's Alive with uh, James Leone. I'm gonna eat some really boys later. Oh, yeah. Something. Oh, there's an earwig. Put them in your ear. A big old earwig, I will not do that. Eat your wax. Oh, there's a poly. Oh, that's a different species. Even better. Not really, but yeah. Look at him go. Oh, is it? Is it a different species? Yeah, it's a different species. Oh, well, that's so cool. But now you have two. Alright, so we're back and we found that little guy, which is kind of a normal looking. Uh, Armdalidium, I don't know if, I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, some little, if you look under, I don't know what you, I don't know what the shell pieces are called, scoots, possibly, but if you look under the first two that aren't the head, they're kind of light, and I'm not sure why, and I, I mean obviously it's just the way they look, but I'm wondering what the reasoning for that is, and then on, we have this a second one, uh, which looks, I mean, I, I'm not good with the morphs, but it looks kind of like it would be a clown, or something like that with the kind of yellow speckles. Um, so we did only find two. I'm gonna set these up in this deli cup as I would, or maybe in something like this, uh, as I would with uh, regular ice pods. Uh, I'm gonna keep these a little bit more arid because that's kind of just the climate here in California and that's where we were finding them. It was it was really under really arid rocks and not uh, near any moisture whatsoever because we did have ponds and creeks and all that and they weren't near those whatsoever. So I'm going to set them up like that, and then probably tomorrow I'm going to go look in a different area and hopefully find some more and get another little closure going, just because, because we're in quarantine and there's nothing to do. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm James from James Gentiles. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that definitely helps out the channel. And stay safe.